you're going to have to excuse the pigs in the background. Anyway, I was storing my feed in 50 pound feed bags and it was taking up a ton of space in my garage, about a pallet, you know, about a three by four, but it's about six by six area that it took up. It made like a fine dust, kind of like barn dust and uh, taking up space and making a mess in my garage. I've been doing this for years. I looked into uh, grain bins. Um, almost all of them new were in the 1500 plus range. It would be nice, but I'm someone that maybe gets three to five tons a year. Uh, just wasn't worth it for me. Um, especially when I did the plans on this, I could build it for about a hundred bucks. Uh, don't have any fancy drawing, but basically, I build, you can build this with only three sheets of plywood. I did not use three quarter, I used five eighths. Anyway, I just basically figured, hey, full sheet, this is a full sheet. And I did measurements from there. Uh, so I wonder if I went up three feet, that angle, so that's about five foot. So each side is a full piece. The bottom one is going to be a piece and then everything else is going to be built from the scrap. So where you see you have a cut off, a huge uh, a two by four piece at the cut off. You have these triangles and what I figured was it's going to be the full four feet wide. It's only going to be three feet in the front wide. Um, two by fours on each corner. I could have done four by fours on the corner, but two by fours are way cheaper. Also doing them like this, I was able to sandwich the box of the uh, plywood in better. I could have also done angles on the side. Way more cuts, way more figuring out angles. But in the end, being that this is only three foot wide, and this is about a six inch opening. There's not gonna be much in here. There might be a half a bag on each side, so I might lose a full bag. But even with my scrap cuts, I was able to put little corners in there. Okay, so it's laying on its back. These are the cutoffs from the angled sides. I cut off the edge here. And right by the gate, they fit right here in the corner to make a funnel towards the gate. So most of it's gonna come out. So you can see here, by having the two by four on your lip, you're able to cut off the flow of the feed. Yeah, you're gonna have some here. Having trouble focusing in here in this low light. I used scrap three quarter plywood and I used the five eighths plywood here so it had up and down space. So like I said, this is only took three sheets of plywood. I'm gonna say 12 or 14 two by fours. Um, I think you are gonna need a different, some kind of, that was scrap up there. So you're gonna need another piece up there. So, so you can see that I'm looking in from the front of the hopper and I did paint it just for it to be a little bit smoother and moisture issues. But anyway, this is 13 bags, so which is roughly a third of um, what this can hold, which is working out perfectly because where that angle starts, is about a third and the rest of the hopper holds about two thirds. So that's another way I figured this out. The top part being three by four by three is 36 cubic foot. And the bottom part would be, well, half of that because, well, that's what I made it. So, which works out perfectly. My type of feed is just over a square foot per 50 pounds. Um, you're going to have to figure that out, and the easiest way to figure it out is... Easiest way to figure that out is just take a five gallon bucket, which Google it, but I think is about a, a cubic foot. Um, dump your feed in there and see how much a feed bag is. Mine in this case was close to a six gallon, which 
There's another reason why I made this height. Because I happen to have six gallon ones and I want them, I wanted a six gallon bucket to fit closer into there. Another thing I did was put plastic pads under the feet just for moisture issues. And as far as loading this thing, think to yourself, hey man, that's almost eight foot up there. How do you load that? And kind of works being against this wall. I can just secure that up there. Um, actually perfect. You can, it, the first time I used it, my skid loader to, ha to have the bucket up here and I just loaded them. But in the future, my pallets, I can just back the truck right in here and load it up there. Why spend the extra money on an auger or something like that? I think this is the cheapest storage bin that you can make. 